Welcome back. I'm the face of TSU. Yeah, I'm, I said I'm the face of TSU. What? I can say what I want to say. You don't tell me what to do. But I'm out here um, on the campus of Texas Southern. You know the thing about HBCUs I found out is that a lot of people talk down on their schools, but they really don't do anything or say anything positive. We always talk down on our own stuff. We always say that other folks' schools are better than ours and you know that I need to exercise or something because I'm getting tired. Not even but anyway, but we just be talking down on our own stuff, you know, it's stupid. Now why are you gonna talk down on your own school and you that's the school that's giving you the opportunity to get a degree. You know and I understand people when they say you know, well, it's thugs at the school. Yeah, it's, it's thugs here. Yeah, it's thugs at a lot of schools that I've been to. Because I do, I do believe, I believe everybody don't need to go to a four-year college. You know? Let me stop talking before they think I'm crazy. Hold on. People. People like that. What happened? They see you talking to yourself. So what they do, they um, they start playing with their phone and act like they're doing something. It's like this girl, watch this. Hey. Yeah, it's a beautiful campus. Nobody's here, look. It's good Friday. Yeah. Very, very very nice campus when nobody's here, but when people are here, you be like, dang, is this cool and high? What is this? But like I said, everybody don't need to be going to a four-year college because everybody is not, you know, there. Like everybody's what they want to do in life is not doesn't match up with going to uh, a school of higher learning as Texas Southern or some other school. I mean that's just my belief. Most people don't believe, don't say that, but I just say it. Everybody's not meant. You know, so we need carpenters, we need um, people doing uh, general labor, we need people doing um, construction, we need people doing those things, and they make more than people like me who will sit up there and get a job at a TV station making $30,000 a year or a job as a executive assistant making forty thousand a year and when you come out of a carpentry or a technical school you're making fifty sixty thousand a year. See what I'm saying? Hey somebody busted me and was like please don't say you make a YouTube video. Yes I am. I am and I'm the face of TSU a very nice looking face, might I add. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. So, dang. I didn't walk, probably. A, a meter. And I'm about to pass out. I need to exercise or something, y'all. Really, I need to be out on the field doing, doing stuff. But, See this gate right here? This is a gate. These folks get on my nerves at this gate because let me tell you what they do. We have to go through, we have to like go through the gate. We have to like run out a little card and then the gate open, right? But you know, but before then, everybody was just going in after somebody because you'd be late trying to wait on somebody to go through the gate and do all this little stuff, the arm go up and go down in this traffic. So what they did now, they hired somebody to stand there 
and watch people uh, go through the gate to make sure. So what I, I found out is that I can go around the gate. My car is small enough to go around the gate and it, it won't even affect anything. I'm, I'm gonna show you one day. I'm gonna show you someday. But I'm not gonna do it now because I don't want them looking out for my car because they don't know what kind of car I drive. <laughs> Can you? Stupid. Yeah, you. I'm gonna slap your face. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so. But what was I saying? Everybody don't need to be in no college, in no um, school, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody's not meant to be at like Texas Southern. Everybody's not meant to be at Clark Atlanta. Everybody's not meant to be at a, um, at these schools, because some people need to go in the computer. Some people need to go in computer science. Some people need to go in the construction and do all these different things. You need to do, it's other stuff to do in life. Everybody don't need to be going to no um, college and get a liberal arts degree. That's not for everybody. That's not everybody's thing. And we keep forcing these people to do that. And that's what happens is our enrollment goes up with all these people that don't need to be there. But the quality of the education goes down because you have all these idiots in the classroom still thinking they're in high school. I mean, I don't have to deal with that now because I'm a grad student. Because everybody wants to be there, really. But, you know, when you're an undergrad, most, you know, you have all these people in the class that don't really want to be there. They're just getting their financial aid money. I mean, it's a waste of time. It's a waste of time for me. It's a waste of time for the student. It's a waste of time for the professors. So I believe in enrollment, um, um, enrollment, I mean, admission standards, not enrollment, but admission standards for schools. I did an article about that, my, my college. Uh, they finally made Toughened up the admission status. That ain't that girl. Ooh, but the admission status went up. See, that's the thing about Houston. I'm, I'm off on the subject. But people don't wear clothes in Houston. I found that out. I, I look at these. Yeah. No, those little girls, they look like dudes in the car. Like, like about 10. That's another thing in black schools. That's another, that's another thing in black schools. It'd be girls be looking like dudes. They'd be running in pack. 